In 2003, Kevin came home. He and Erica found a house in Squirrel Hill, just a short drive through Shenley Park from his old South Oakland neighborhood. Within a few years, Kevin and Erica had two sons, George and Teddy. Having two sons is easy for him because he grew up with two brothers. And sometimes I tell him that he's as much a kid as they are. I joke to people that I feel sometimes like I have three boys because they're just so silly and funny. And Kevin's just a real natural, great dad. They're very lucky boys to have him. Fulfilled at home and at work, Kevin felt a call to public service. In addition to pro bono work for community groups and victims of domestic violence, Kevin volunteered with Big Brothers Big Sisters. Well, he's been a big brother to Matthew for about four years, and they go places together, baseball games, hockey games, to the movies. Sometimes they just text on the phone. <laughs> Still wanting to do more, Kevin co-founded and became executive director of Renew Pittsburgh a volunteer organization that works to revitalize the city's neighborhoods. I got this email uh, from our president uh, of our organization, and he said, uh, I got this guy who wants to come up and paint the Boulevard Cannon, uh, you know, and to, to, to improve that, that little section. And I said, really? And, uh, and, you know, so I called him and asked him. And he says, yeah, I'm, I'm Kevin Acklin. I'm going to come out there and and help you. And I was kind of taken aback, like, okay, you know, that, that's great. Uh, well, and, and he did. He, he showed up with a bunch of people and they, and they worked all day. And um, we were very grateful for that as a community. Renew Pittsburgh took on many other projects, from the north side to Carrick to Homewood. One of the biggest, the August Wilson Childhood Home in the Hill District. You know, sometimes when you're involved with something and you're trying to uh, trying to get something significant done and it involves personal sacrifice, you know, you often have to pull teeth uh, to get somebody to step up to the plate. Um, Kevin and, and, and his, his people did everything that they said they were going to do and then some. It was just a, a, a hard, sweaty, grassroots, you know, roll your sleeves up kind of day. You know, he's actually out there with the paintbrush. He's not talking about it. I mean, he spent probably six hours out there painting and picking litter. And, uh, and, you know, he's a very busy man and he has a family. And, you know, he's going not to his neighborhood and doing this, but he's, he's going to all these other neighborhoods. When a person displays that type of character and integrity, uh, you know that there's a, a deep-rooted level of concern uh, for, for other people, for their lives, projects and programs that they're involved in that are designed to benefit other people in the community. It's been a lot of fun. It's been a way, and when you're out there in the neighborhoods, you see firsthand, you know, the great people we have as a city. You, you see every day that they're, they're living and they're working and they take ownership and they love their neighborhoods and they love their city. Kevin Acklin's story is a story of problems solved, odds defied, and obstacles overcome. His whole life has been about getting involved and making a difference, and it's led him to this moment. Our family is a circle of strength and love, and Kevin has been the center of that. You know, he, he always he looked at his um, things that happened in his life, you know, and made himself a better person for it. You know, he, um, he definitely was determined to, to make a better life. He just does what he says he's going to do, and, and, and that in community service is important. When I think of Pittsburgh, and when I think about all the great things we have here, these things didn't happen by accident. They happened by the hard work of people who came before us, generations of people who came here like my great-grandparents did as immigrants because for work. They came here because the mills were here. And we stand on the shoulders of those generations of Pittsburghers that came before us. We owe it to them. He's not really concerned about, uh, you know, a lot of you know, publicity or, you know, just trying to, uh, you, know, you know, promote his own image. Um, I, I have watched him now consistently uh, make personal sacrifices for the benefit of others, uh, you know, long before, uh, you know, he even considered, uh, you know, running for political office. Kevin is in touch with the people of the city. 
he goes into the neighborhoods and that's where you find out what problems there are in the city and what needs to be fixed. And he gets down in with his hands and helps repair some of the things that are going wrong with the city. I think voters should think of me as one of them. I mean, I'm a Pittsburgher. I'm not a politician. You know, I'm just a kid who grew up in South Oakland who wants to give back to a city that was always there for me. You know, I believe that Pittsburgh's best days are ahead of us. I really do. And I also believe that if our government can reflect the best of what we have to offer as a community, then there's really no limit to how great Pittsburgh can be.